So let me get a smaller brush. I've still got the white chocolate here. And some buttercream under here. And it's not even a bad idea to actually use um, chocolate under there, which why don't I just do that to show you, just like that, right onto the, the fondant cake. I've even done it on buttercream. And then we'll take a little more chocolate. It needs to go like right about here. the front okay just like that and then the other one will go on the other side and since I want them different heights I, I almost thought I wanted this one higher though so let's try this Okay, this one's going to be a little big. This one's great for down here. Um, so I'm going to have to make another one to put here that's a little more narrow. So let's just kind of check this out. If I just do something small like this, like this up here, like this. So about that tall. Okay. So same process. So we'll be back when I have this one done. Okay. All right. So let me see. I did a few different pieces uh, just to make sure that I have one that will fit there. And... Hmm. I'm going to do this. So let's take a little more chocolate. Pop it right in there. Okay, like so. And then this one, need a little chocolate down here for sure. And then where it touches the cake. So I'll take the small brush here, a little right back there. It looks like I have too much, so let me get some of that off. And then you can go back with a another brush, if I have one here handy, to kind of clean up that chocolate. Which, here's one. Okay, so both hooks are on. This stuff I'll save for later. This, I just wanted to show you these, how these come out. They came out of the freezer and I let them sit for a minute or two. Because if you try to unmold them right away, they usually crack. What you do is you push from the back, push up like that. Some of them might break on you. You kind of have to do it slowly on some of these. I've used these a lot, so it seems like when I use them a lot, they get... Um, they stick a little bit more. So some, like this one, sometimes will break, but I'll still use it. Oh, it didn't. How about this one? We'll try this one and see if it breaks, but I could still use it. Now, sometimes the legs break off, but you could still use it with only, you know, uh, four of the legs. So I'll just take these out and pop these on my sheet, and then we'll get some fondant, and we'll actually do the little characters first, and then do everything else around them.